Brothers and sisters, friends and comrades, I'm Cuba Libre, and this is Deus Ex 3 Hardcore. Gonna kill us a boss. Maybe. We're gonna try and kill us a boss. He's, uh, he's rough stuff. Pretty hard. Um, yeah, they throw this scary hallway at you. But there's no one down here. If you hit next to him, he just like automatically punches you in the face, which is really annoying. Um, yeah, he's kind of a pain in the ass. So, we'll see what happens. We shall see. <laughs> Behind you, Adam! <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just gonna stand there and well, take it. Alright. He got us a boy <clears throat> scout. He must be the one who mucked up my operation at the morgue. Get rid of him, Baron. Get rid of him, Baron. That's gonna be ah, a ah, ah. One Baron. Ah, ah, ah. Woo! Here, have some grenades. Yeah! Yeah! Get fucked! Woo! He doesn't know where the hell I am. Eat dick. <sighs> well, don't die on me yet. This Boy Scout's got a few questions to ask. Your leader, the one who called you Barrett. Who is he? Why is FEMA sending you after Seraph Industries? FEMA? <laughs> you think FEMA? Gives a rat's ass about some rinky dink biotech corporation's company secrets. <clears throat> you got worse enemies than FEMA. Yeah, like who? Who? <laughs> Get to Shanghai, Peng Shop, Court Gardens, <clears throat> Penthouse. Tell him. <clears throat> Tell him. Tell him Barrett sent you straight to hell! Oh, that's one way to do it. I should have done that in the first fucking place. Those soldiers just sticks out like you wouldn't believe. <coughs> they see you. No, I was flying dark in case it got hot. You alright? I'm fine. Patch me to Seraph. I'm getting you out of here first. Get to the LZ. I'll pick you up there. Not before I pick up all this stuff. What do we got? Ooh, an AMP grenade. Take that. Some painkillers, yes. Yeah, we're dropping this. I use my combat rifle ammo. Is there combat rifle ammo? I don't see any. It's all shotgun shells. Darts. Other bullshit I don't need. Whoa. Hey there, sexy guys. Oh well, grenades. Grenades are good. Grenades I'll take. More stuff I don't need. Rockets. That probably would make it a lot easier. Yeah. Let's go. 
Well, that's one boss dead. Just a whole lot of combat rifle. The Typhoon is good, but like, uh, he keeps moving around while you do the animation, and while you're invincible, he always ends up right next to you, and then as soon as you get out of it, he like just automatically grabs you and punches you for like 70 damage. It's ridiculous. So, it's actually harder to use. It's better to stay away from him. So, two grenades and about 60 combat rifle bullets. Put him down. Where's the peace, Big Rizzle? You ready to get out of here, Jensen? <clears throat> so ready. Yeah, take us back to Seraph Industries. None too soon, if you ask me. Strap in and hold on. It's a long night. <laughs> I really don't know how I feel about this thing being called the B. Seems uh too easy. Jensen, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I love to, Francis. <laughs> I have to debrief Sally first. Like six-year-old brothers. I love to, Francis. To have to and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. All right, let's see what he wants. What? 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 What do you want? <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarif? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it, specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far <laughs> as I can tell, Sarif created that access, and was streaming a lot of data through it. Shortly after your ex girlfriend suggested he hired. Dun dun da. Are you saying that one of the most powerful men in the world and my corporate master has some secrets he's hiding from me? <laughs> no. No. That's silly. Excuse no, God. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. That's with, the, the what's with his head. I know who you are. It's, yes. like a, it's like on a... Yes, I imagine you do. Lazy As Susan. As Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am... Just keep swiveling around. Friends. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Oh, <laughs> a mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Yeah, you should probably fuck off my about my memories. Business, <laughs> Did I hit a nerve? No. 
They're just not your business. Psychologist, I suppose, to want to ask the difficult questions. You see, I find that ignoring the two random people on the street that you don't have a doctor-patient relationship with. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Sure. Yeah, go the fuck away. How about you? What do you have to say for yourself? You're Jared aren't you? Doctor Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Tucker. Well, you know, not not quite as thick. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Look at I security guys. Mustache. Like isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. It's like a sea cucumber. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. What, like, I uh, you think long and hard on that. Like murder an entire office building full of police officers? That's crazy. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? <laughs> He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know, hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation. He could just came to me. I would love to, to gun him down. They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature Physical and psychological there. eels? Thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend. Oh, Did those lawyers. Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. I, I murdered by cop. Look at, look at my, Sergeant Slaughter over here. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah, that's Macho Man, not Sergeant Slaughter, but whatever. <clears throat> All right, let's conversation, boss David Seraf. Let's go. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Like <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important Very thing is you found the X. hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Uh, yes, let's refocus on what I think I is important. Me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. A little bit. A little bit, Dave. The truth is, I've had a lot of other things on my mind. I'm trying to secure a future here for all of mankind. I can't let trivial security concerns get in the way when people like Bill Tagger want to see me fail. No, you're my best warrior, Adam. And I, and I trust you. I know the loyalty you've shown me will only continue <laughs> as we take this fight into the future. Because that's what's really important, isn't it? The future. Soldier metaphors. If you ever needed more evidence, then Jensen's a corporate bitch. Let's get in his face with it. I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed.